Hey guys, so today a little bit of a studio maintenance. I had cables redone for my mixing console Soundcraft 1600 model. I used to have it that only the recording outputs were going to DB25 and the effects were going to XLR and quarter inch, but I decided just to go everything with a DB25. It's a lot easier to maintain and connect. So let's take a look at the box that came back from the cabling company. And after that, we're gonna go behind these racks here and see how we can connect them all to these outboard effects from the mixer. All right, let's see what's in the box. And here we have the cables, completely redone. These are the cables that connect to the console. And on the other ends, now we have all DB25. You see sand returns. These are for the effects. And then there are a bunch of cables that go from DB25 to the various XLR and more XLR and a quarter inch. Let me get a quarter inch one out here. So you can see this one. This one goes from uh, DB25 to quarter inch. And there's and there are eight of these cables it's the mountain of cables there and I also got a DB25 patch bag let's open it up Here is the DB25 patch bay. It's a red coat audio patch bay with all the DB25 connectors in the back. Very cool. It's called the R196D25PG. All right, now it's just a matter of connecting the main two multi core cables to the console and then mount the patch bay and connect the db25 to the effects behind me and also the synthesizer rack units behind me all right guys i spent a couple hours um we're doing the cabling in the back of the racks. Let's go take a look. So I'm very, very happy with the results. I wish I had taken pictures of before, because before I had single cables both XLR and quarter inch going to each instrument, each instrument, but, and it was a mess. It was an insane amount of cables, always tangled, but now everything goes through these um, snakes, DB25 snakes, and they terminate to this DB25 patch bay. Turns out I need one more patch bay. This one is not enough, but I'll, I'll get it, and, uh, and that should cover the whole rack. All 
All right, in the next video, we're gonna hook up some of the effects from the rack and uh, make some music.